Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show. That's right, the PCM Tech Help Show. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys a review of the Kaspersky Free Scanner Tool. Now, there's a difference between a virus scanning tool and an antivirus software package. Now, a scanning tool usually acts as a standalone scanner. Malware bytes, super anti-spyware... Uh, you can buy the versions that will do real-time scanning in the background, but you typically don't want multiples of those running at the same time. Now, a scanning tool such as this one, you can actually install and run while your other antiviruses and things are running. So that'll actually uh, it'll work in conjunction with other antivirus software. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me bring it up here. Now, the Kaspersky tool you can find at my website in the free download section. That's at PCMTechHelp.com in the free downloads at the top. And then you scroll down to the anti-rootkit tools is where I placed it because I consider these anti-rootkit kit because they can be ran in safe mode and they can also be run to find the really hard to remove viruses if you have to use them. Now this is not meant to be used to replace your actual current antivirus. That's important to note. This is again used to be uh, designed to be used in conjunction with that. So after you've selected it and downloaded it and installed it on your machine it's actually very easy to do. Um, actually as a note here it doesn't actually install on your machine it actually extracts it and then it runs an installer which just extracts it into your system so that you can run the scanner. Now if you watched the video before this one you know that uh, we booted our computer in safe mode so that we could actually run a tool like this and that's what I always recommend doing with any kind of virus scanning tool and uh, in order to do that we just selected the start menu button typed in msconfig and pressed enter and then, uh, of course, the options up at the top here, you want to select boot, and you want to check the box safe boot and select apply. That'll make sure that when you restart your computer, uh, it'll boot in safe mode, and then you'll want to run Kaspersky from there. Now, once you've opened the program, you'll be greeted with this screen. Uh, of course, you want to read and accept the licensing agreement and select start, and then the software will start for you. Uh, it's a very easy to use software. As you can see, the layout's very, very simplistic. Uh, we have automatic scan manual disinfection and then we have at the little cog here we can actually do the scan scope and choose different devices that we want it to scan. Uh, you can also choose security uh, level and you can do actions as well so if it finds something you can have a prop on detection and for security level you can do maximum protection recommended for hospital environment so if you know you have an infection you may want to actually enable this and uh, for optimal protection you want to do appropriate for most users. Uh, also, lastly, we have this little option here, and uh, there's, of course, lab recommendations. They're going to recommend you buy their software for real-time protection. Kaspersky is not a bad product, but you will have to pay for it. Uh, detected threats will be a history of what you found. Scan report will be an actual full-fledged report of what you found. Manual disinfection report is one you can generate on your own manually after you've manually disinfected your system. So... Basically, that's all there is to this. At, the, at this point, when you've rebooted booted your computer in safe mode, you select Start Scanning, and boom, it starts scanning over all of the uh, files on your system, and it tries to locate any of them that could possibly be evil, bad, disturbingly bad, or infectious. And then once it finds it, you just clean it, and you move on. Now, if this doesn't find it, remember, there's a bunch of other tools at my site as well for anti-rootkit, and you can try running those as well. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing reviews of all of them. Uh, probably not in order. I'm going to bounce around a lot because we don't want you guys to get bored. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and thumb it up. Thumb it up. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Is that even a word? And uh, subscribe to my videos on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at, at Craig Chamberlain. You can also follow the company at PCM Tech Help. And you can also follow us on Facebook or like us on Facebook is the word. And uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.